morning and welcome back. Today has been weeks, months even in the planning. My fall shopping trip, it's normally a disaster and it's never cohesive. So that's the goal this year. I have a purpose, I have a plan. I have been on Pinterest since July planning this fall. And that might sound extreme to you, but I'm a very impulsive girl. So here's the deal. This bag in front of me, everything that I'm donating, they're gonna give me a lot of store credit, hopefully. I'm really trying to keep my closet cyclical. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at with these. I love them, they're great. I would rather exchange them for something else now. Okay, first thing, they're like a mid-rise, very washed kind of cargo pants. I think hopefully too that they will take these, hopefully. That's the other thing is like, I'm expecting to get money back from these. So that always sucks when you go in with like a full bucket and you're like, yes, they're gonna take all of it. They're like, we can give you $16. You're like, what? Next piece, this white off the shoulder sweater has like button details. Next, this pink Italy jacket. Love her, she has done me well. I'm ready to give her on to the next person who will love her. This pink balaclava, it's cute, the little horns. I didn't really think about wearing makeup with this. I love balaclavas in theory, not really in practice. She's gone. This bucket hat, it's like a Sherpa. Tan and navy, like two-way kind of baseball tee. These capris, tan with like a blue plaid. Loved owning these pants. They're this red kind of shiny material. They're super low-waisted. I mean like you're like really, they're low. I hope the next person loves them too. These camo capris, they're kind of baggy. Some embroidery detail on the back. This long sleeve, floral lace top. Soccer jersey. I knew when buying this what I was doing. It's cute, it's just I bought it on the whim of a trend. <laughs> Brown low-waisted trousers, button pocket details on the back. I like them, but I already have another pair. This sweater, I think one of my friends wore it when she was dyeing her hair, and so there's like little bleach spots on it. Brown, huge oversized crew neck. I love it because it had pockets like this in the front. Long sleeve green, it's more of like a puke green. <laughs> This is like grass, puke. I think I was a little uh, caught up in the moment when I bought her. Purple Adidas beanie. I have nothing that's like this lilac purple color. I've kept it every year because it's really good quality, but I'm like, okay, at what point? I just need to let go. I need a new beanie. That's everything. I'm gonna get a bigger bag, put all this stuff in. Oh my. Ooh. In the past, I hadn't really done any thinking or planning about the silhouettes I like, the fits I like. I would just go thrifting and it was just a mess because I would like a whole bunch of different things, but I wasn't really considering how they could be moved around with the current wardrobe that I already had. And that's what I did with these. Every single piece can be swapped out with multiple different pants, multiple different accessories that I have. It just feels so good. I made a Pinterest board to start. From there, I kind of made a notes list of the stuff that repeated so that I knew that it was something I really liked and something I would wear. There's lots of trends that I like. For example, one is the super long plaid maxi skirt trend. I'll put a picture here. I love that. I think it looks so cute, so good. I just know that yes, I like it, but on other people. Buying that would probably be a waste of money for me. That same principle with like everything that I've been buying. Just because I like it doesn't mean it's something that I'm gonna wear consistently. I really pay attention to the stuff that I wear over and over and what specifically about those pieces is it that I like so that I can replicate that. And I can still be trendy and I can still dress cute and everything, but within my style. Here is a little scroll through my Pinterest board so you can kind of see what the vibe is. I focused a lot on the colors of things that I wanted. My colors were burgundy, hunter green, navy, black, and cream. So instead of getting like five colors of one item i tried to get a different color in every item that i got that way all the colors were satisfied without repeating the same piece so i went to my notes i made a list and then i inserted the little screenshots from pinterest of the things that i wanted because when i go shopping you get in the store and it's like a million things everywhere and you're so overwhelmed and this is cute but like would it really look good on you and this is cute but i don't really know if it would fit right it's too much so i would get in the store i would go into a corner literally like calm down 
pull out my phone, look at my notes app and focus on what I wanted. And I would go one thing at a time. I was like, okay, I'm looking for a fuzzy V-neck sweater. I wouldn't be looking for five fingers at once. I would focus on one item at a time and look at the pictures that I picked out. That way I could stay focused on something that I actually like and not something that I'm convincing myself fit. Number one, I wanted some crew necks to layer with. I got this navy one. It fits really good. It's like oversized, but in a fitted type of way. Super soft. The material doesn't pill, which I like a lot. Next was fuzzy v-neck sweaters. Something with like some fun prints. So here's what we got. This maroon, very nice, very soft, cute pattern, thick and oversized sweater. Number two, this one might be one of my favorites. I got this one off Depop. I was looking for something like this, but I didn't think I was gonna be able to get it without spending like a lot of money. When I found this, I was like, this is it. It's so grandma, it's so fall. I've just never seen a sweater really like this and it's such good quality. It's like the perfect size for me. Next sweater. I really wanted v-neck sweaters because the fit of the neckline just makes it feel a lot more feminine. You can kind of layer underneath the v-neck so obviously those other two that I showed you weren't so this one is it's just black. A little bit oversized. It's not really ribbed but it has some like stripey kind of knit details down the side. Very nice. I feel like I get caught up a lot of times in like prints and patterns and crazy colors that I forget to buy basic colors. And every year I realize that I don't have something black. So I got a black hoodie and I also got a black sweater. I'm set with the black. Next, I really liked this kind of vibe with like the cardigan layered over a t-shirt underneath, baggy jeans. I already had those. So I was really just missing like a good cardigan. I got this one. It looks like this. It has these little pearl buttons down the center and then these two front pockets which are really nice. I actually didn't thrift this. It belonged to my great grandmother. I found it at home in a box of stuff that it shouldn't have been in. Like it shouldn't have been in this box but it was a box of my things. And I was going through the box and I saw the sweater in there and I was like oh wait this is like kind of cute. It's just sitting in this box like I might as well just take it. Turns out it was actually hers. Me and my mom don't really know how the sweater got there or in that box so i kind of like to think that she gave it to me and i also think it's cute because the buttons like i said are like little pearls pearl is my birthstone so this is a special piece next this is a good one i'm excited about this i wanted a long black trench coat i've never had a trench coat in all my winters beforehand i feel like it's just a very like mature piece and i didn't feel like i could pull it off i didn't really know how to wear it this year i'm like this is the time it's time for me to grow up and get a trench coat also let me tell you this was 20 dollars. it's 100 percent wool it's insane it fits me perfect I love it. I'm so happy that I got it. I can't wait to style it and wear it. Next, I also hit the jackpot with this one. Last year, I got these two other jackets and they were great. I saw them, I bought them. I didn't really think about the fit that I was looking for or anything that was gonna make me love it long term. I mean, I wore them a lot, but I just realized what I needed to do differently next year. So this is the vibe, kind of just like this washed brown. I want it to be oversized, but in a fitted way. So big shoulders, but not shoulders that are down to my elbows. Big in the body, but not where it's down to my knees. I was so happy when I found this because it's just, it's perfect. Like it, it's oversized, but fits. It's like the exact wash that I wanted. It has this quilted material on the inside, which means it's going to be warm. I couldn't ask for a better leather jacket. Next, I really wanted like a ribbed long sleeve zip up sweater. I got this red. This one's a little bit thinner. I could layer a little more with it or just on a day that's not as cold. It's good. A little bit oversized, but it fits me almost perfectly. Then I also got this brown one, which is a lot thicker. It has also a ribbed neckline and a collar, so they both fit like turtleneck. Also has like a rib detail at the bottom and on the sleeves. Last, just in general, I wanted a bunch of basic long sleeves. Blue, a gray one. This one's a little bit thicker. Brown. And this one's a little bit more loose fitting. Just a white long sleeve. That's my last piece. What a time. Hope you enjoyed. Next week, I'm gonna use a lot of this stuff to recreate Pinterest outfits, kind of based off some of the inspo photos I showed you, but I have a lot more ideas. So I'll see you back for that. Thanks for watching. Yeah.